As we learn more about a shooting at a San Bernardino office building that killed 14, that incident is also on top of the minds of many in Madison. City officials and local businesses are looking at what can be done to keep their employees safe. News 3's Jess Garb tells us what's being done here, Jess. Well, have you thought about it? You know, a lot of people are thinking more about it right now. More these days than they used to. Sure. Absolutely. Do you know what you would do if an active shooter came into your workplace? That question is being asked more and more following so many mass shootings thinking about it, including here in Madison. If this is the work environment, we have multiple workstations, right? Mm -hmm. So people would be in these places. In the Dane County Executive's office, there are ways to get out. Yeah, this, this is a back inaccessible um, stairway. And places to seek shelter. We do have one centrally located place that has, you know, minimal glass and minimal access, and that's our main conference room, which is over here. A plan similar to one that's in place for all 27 county buildings. So our plans really encompass a wide range of emergencies from someone in the building causing a disruption, um, whether it be the example you gave of a shooter or more of a, of a natural disaster. The Madison mayor says the city has similar plans. Let's you know, recall that almost 30 years ago, we had a, a tragic multiple shooting in this building. In 1988, a man killed coroner Bud Chamberlain and gunned down two others, prompting security measures then. Now, that training involves videos, like this one from the Department of Homeland Security, directing employees to run, hide, or fight. If you were ever to find yourself in the middle of an active shooter event, your survival may depend on whether or not you have a plan. But it's not just public buildings. Businesses and other gathering places are advised to be vigilant, too. Since so many of these environments are in malls, schools, retail, commercial, houses of worship, we do have the capacity to provide individually structured safety plans. Madison's CUNA Mutual, a company with hundreds of employees and thousands of square feet. Security, get me in here now. Hosted Madison police for a drill in 2011 and just today met with MPD to review their security plan. We have to be very diligently prepared for a number of different scenarios. We believe we owe that not only to our customers, but to our employees and to their families. The fire department also points out that it's important that all buildings, businesses, or public work with the building inspection department to make sure maps are updated so that they would know how to reach anyone inside in an emergency. Yeah, uh, and you know, also tonight we want to tell people the Madison School District released a statement just in the last half hour saying it has strong safety protocols in place as it continues to train staff and work with police. Everything, businesses, public mm -hmm. institutions are all looking at plans after, Absolutely. in this day and age, it's, it's a part of life, unfortunately. Jess, thanks. You're welcome.